Okay, so uh, <laughs> I have the honor of being one of the last presenters here, and I have to say, ouch, you know, it's been a lot of good material, lots of multivariate statistics, uh, robotics, uh, it's a lot to take in. Um, and I obviously knew that I'd be one of the last presenters here today, and I just wanted to sort of maybe riff a little bit on, on what you guys have already said, lots of good presentations both near and, and far in terms of development. And um, so that's basically the reason why, why my presentation is so incredibly vague. Uh, we can basically discuss anything that you would like. <laughs> so, um, but yes, so what's the, uh, what's the thin red line here? Um, unfortunately, I, I didn't get dibs on, on being the only person to present a Venn diagram during this day. Villa beat me to it, but... You can see here uh, sort of how, how I view uh, the world when I, I discuss with, uh, let's say, forest owners, big forest companies, uh, and, and what kind of uh, emphasis they put on different areas, broadly speaking. So obviously, economical uh, cost efficiency is, is one of the big, big parts uh, in their thinking. Uh, then less impact on the soils. Um, and then obviously also optimal growth. So, I mean, you can put a lot of plants in, in, in one hectare, but ultimately you want to, to grow, grow, grow trees. Um, so, so that is sort of what, what, what I see as a, a, a uh, manufacturer of this kind of machinery and also what I, what I see in terms of, uh, let's say, when contractors meet uh, the forest companies what kind of issues or, or, or demands are, are they meeting. So uh, an, an integrated approach would, would kind of try to take all of this into consideration, this, this thinking, and, and, and also to, to improve quality, uh, quality in, in, in the contracting. So um, the idea is to, to have one service provider, of course, if you're a forest owner or a forest company, you can have multiple uh, service providers, but that they can do uh, all of the stages within the reestablishment chain. So you, so you don't get sort of breaks, um, breaks or, or risks when you, when you go to regenerate. Also, you, you obviously want to have a, a fast regeneration after harvesting, so, so you can save on things like uh, young stand tending. Um, then we have the bullet uh, transparency, and obviously we have a system where uh, you measure uh, at the time of planting um, each and every tree. So you get a GPS timestamp and you get the tree location. If it's a, a soil cultivation or a mounding contractor, you get the location of, of the mound. Um, and some of the benefits to the service provider uh, of this approach is obviously as the price of fuel increases, um, the viability of doing, let's say, uh, crane-mounted mounding um, is less and less because you're only offering one service, is that you will be able to, to maximize your, your output. Um, you can also create new income streams. So if, as a service provider, if you are doing something for a private landowner, for instance, uh, carbon sequestration or, or carbon offsets is, is a new thing that's coming. Um, you, you need to be a bit more, uh, let's say, advanced uh, to, to see, see that kind of uh, possibility, but it is possible. Uh, and then, of course, uh, I, I knew that we were going to be in Sweden and... and the Swedes love, love their royals. So, and, and I knew I, I was going to be the only one uh, with a meme, or I, I had a strong hunch. Um, there is a better meme making the rounds on, on the internet where he has sort of like a, more like a purple suit, and it's more obvious. Uh, but he's been waiting a long time in the wings to, to become the king. Um, and there are some benefits, uh, obviously, for, uh, for his advancement. And, and he's kind of a safe bet, right? He knows the processes. He's been around a while. Um, so what kind of, uh, when we're talking about advancing uh, 
integrated service provision in civic culture, what kind of advancement are we looking for? Are we looking for fast paradigm shifts, uh, explosive stuff, or, or do we want to advance things more slowly uh, using mature technology? And whose role is it anyway? Is it, is it the uh, uh, machinery manufacturers, or is it academia, or is, or is it the forest companies? I don't know, um, but these are the kinds of things that went through my mind when I uh, created this uh, topic. So, and, and then of course, why do we want to do this? Uh, we've had some really good presentations and, and it's something that the Swedes are very good at is, is really communicating what kind of issues you have in society and, and, and how, you need to, how you need to tackle those. Uh, one of the big things is, where are all the drivers? Uh, do we have enough drivers to perform all the work? Um, it's, it's not specific to the Nordics uh, or Sweden. The same kind of things can be seen in other areas as well, where you have a large turnover of, of staff. Um, and, and that can be a driver for advancing service provision or mechanization. Um, another thing would be the quality, uh, the impact on the soil, Economics, obviously, making it more cost efficient. Old ways of working is, is, is no longer cutting it. Okay, I need to speed things up. Um, so how is it done now? We won't go into it too much, but uh, the, the great benefit of having, having a, a, a integrated approach is that you have the one contractor. They do everything. Um, and they, they manage the plant logistics to the site. Uh, why change? Um, well, we have the lower cost. Um, one of, one of the, the issues with, uh, let's say, crane-mounted mechanized planting, which has been mentioned, is the ergonomics. Um, but if you do soil cultivation with an excavator, it stands to reason that you can probably tackle uh, ergonomics in a mechanized planting setting. So um, just get a suitable excavator, in my opinion. Um, better growth, uh, and so on. Um, so this is the way uh, we see it. And the last point is something that has been touched on also is we need a way to uh, move work orders from the contractee, the forest company, the forest owner, the landowner, to the contractor, and then back again. So um, if the forest company has maps, etc., it, it makes sense for the contractor or the driver to have access to those maps in real time. Okay. Um, and then there are ways to advance things. One, one is to uh, provide new tech. The other way is to advance processes, do better projects, give better advice. Uh, we've been doing this for a long time, so... Um, one of the ways we could advance it is to, to share uh, common source knowledge and then some kind of avoidance of the death by a thousand cuts. So it's not so much, it's a dramatic sort of uh, failure that you get when you go into mechanized planting or integrated service provision. You make a lot of small mistakes that could probably been, have been avoided. Okay, that's that. Okay, thank you, Henrik.